Welcome back. One man's trash is another man's treasure. We've heard that saying before. And today, our craft expert, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com will show us how to make an art project inspired by recycled cardboard. I love this, you little trash digger. You. <laughs> yeah, I've been known to do a little dumpster diving. You yeah, know. and actually you dove in some art prize dumpsters well, to get going on yeah, this. Yeah, thankfully I didn't have to go way into the dumpster, but um, <laughs> Yeah, at our prize, they're selling your wristband and your map that you can get to, yes. to ride the rapid. And I was walking past the hub, and I saw I had just gotten mine actually, and I thought, oh, that's interesting packaging. And then I saw a bunch of them where people were waiting for the bus stop. They were like discarding right into the trash. They weren't taking them home to recycle. Um, yes. <laughs> but I thought, you know what? We can do something with that. So what I did is I started making these little notebooks. My kids oh, are at so that stage cute. where they, they're learning to write and they want to tell stories, and yeah. so we're making little books. And so what I want to show you folks at home, and you can actually use, um, this is a cereal box. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, um, use just cut up what you have. You can also use this technique to cover uh, your kids' notebooks for school. Yes. So what we'll do is I'll start out, I'm using Wonder Under here. This is a double-sided interfacing that will stick to the cardboard. When First, heated. When heated, yes. So you just iron it down. There's a paper side and a regular side here. And you just iron it down. And you you want to have one, what you basically, you size it to your 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 cardboard that you're using. You cut your fabric so you would, that you're covering you sit, The first thing you do is you're going to put this down, cut a, cut a piece of fabric that fits, and then iron that down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've kind of, we'll just kind of skip ahead. This has been ironed, and if you want to peel this one, sure, uh, I'll peel this one. So basically, so you get the other side yes, ready for you the paper comes right off. Yeah. Okay, and, and let this wait, because if you iron it, like if I was to iron this and start working, sometimes it's, it comes, the, the interfacing comes right off, oh. and you don't have the stickiness, yeah. and that's kind of a, a bummer. Okay, and so then what I did, um, if you're working with the art prize, if you want to recycle your art prize mm -hmm. thing, cut cut it off so it's I made even, I even. made this one where I left that part on, but it's a little tricky around the edges there. So yeah. just have it so it's straight across. And then what you do is you keep ironing here, and the first thing you do is center your your cardboard in there, yep. and then just apply some heat. And, and you've got the cutest darn fabric. Yeah, my kids are really into cats right now. Yes. And this is one of those projects where you teach your kids about recycling and you teach them, um, just you let them express themselves as well. Mm -hmm. You don't sure. have to be real fussy about this. But you pull in all the edges. Yeah, and, and kinda... pull in the corners. I do the corners first. Oh, good idea. Okay. And then... We may have to skip ahead here. We'll see how we're doing. And it doesn't really stick like glue. Does no, it ever? doesn't stick like glue. And in fact, you know, this my um, heating has kind of unplugged and then started again. Yes, for so my iron is not as hot as it would be at home. Got it. But um, and this can be kind of messy in here because no one's going to really see it because we're going to cover that with another piece of fabric. So yeah. as, what I'm doing is I'm just pulling up these edges here. Yep. And. This is a project you can do pretty quickly, which is nice. And sometimes, you know, you can get the notebooks at the store for like 10 cents or 20 cents when they go on sale for the back to school sale. And mm -hmm. if you get, you're trying to get your kids to go for the plain ones, but they want the $2 one, um, this is another option if you have crafty kids. Yes. So hey, that's embellished with mom's fabric scraps. You Very know. cute. Okay, so we have this covered here. Next step is to put your a lining fabric in. So you got a pretty interior. So you have a pretty interior. Too. Just going to put this down. Of course, I'm going a little faster than I would normally yep, go. Yeah, we've here. got about a minute, Jennifer, okay. and we want to talk about your yes. Sunday column too. So let's yes. get the guts in this. Book. Okay. So what you can do, you can use regular paper if you want. Okay. Uh -huh. um, just this is just printer paper. You can recycle. I've recycled um, brown paper bags too. First thing I'll do for this, you want to use an awl and poke holes. Okay. Because this is a hand stitched book. Yes, it's a really hand stitched cool. book. So what I, this is, you can get these in uh, craft stores and basically you're going to just use, use a, use a mallet to go through and just poke some holes. I did it probably about every quarter inch. The cardboard and the paper, then you're going to stitch and paper. it up. Yep. And then I'll skip ahead here. Once you have your covering, you want everything, do the fabric first. Uh-huh. And then I have, before I cover, and before you cover your piece, make sure you poke through the fabric. Yes. I mean, poke through your cardboard and then apply it. I'm using a wax linen. It comes in a little package like this at the craft store. Mm -hmm. And the wax linen is great because it slides through and and my stitching, I'm just do, going over under. Wax linen, you can knot and then squish down and it mm -hmm. sticks to itself so it won't come out. 
and you just go along the very edge here and when stitch it, stitch, stitch it, stitch it, stitch, and you're done. And you can make these in all different kinds, you know, any kind of Very fabric cute. you have. All right, Sunday's column, Karen Godfrey, real quick. Yes, she is a painter and assemblage artist, a mixed media, and she does a lot of work about um, he, the process of healing, self healing, and just the um, art therapy is a big thing that she's an expert in. And she talks a little bit about her journey and how art has actually helped her Very through healing. Cool process as well so look All for right. that Sunday. Sunday in the Grand Rapids Press you can find more information on Jennifer's crafts on our website WZZM13.com click on take five links. Up next our flower guru creates beautiful arrangements to add